Hey, saints, there's something that um, I want to talk to you and touch base on, okay? Um, you will hear people saying, and I want, you to I want you to listen very carefully to this message. Very carefully, okay? You will hear people saying to you, telling you, that we have plenty of time to repent. Okay? We don't have plenty of time to repent. Now, now granted, there's still time, but there's not much. We are running out of time. That's what Jesus Christ told me this morning. Okay? So do what you have to do to get your houses in order. Make sure that you are spotless. Make sure that you are completely without sin. If you hear people telling you that God said that you have plenty of time to repent, that's not true. You have, the amount of time that you have is the time that God says you have. Mm -hmm. And the time that you have is not very much. not very much the body of Christ the majority of the body of Christ is divided the majority of the body of Christ is what the Lord would consider dirty rags now I realize that a lot of people are now ready for the Lord's arrival but the Lord told me he is coming whether you ready or not because you have plenty of time. Plenty of time to prepare for his arrival. And the Lord has been nothing but patient. So if you hear anybody telling you that we have plenty of time to repent, that's the devil using that person as a tool to tell you to procrastinate getting ready for the Lord's arrival. Telling you to take your time repenting. Because the reality is you don't know when your time is up. You could, I don't not wishing any, any ill wishes on anybody. I'm not wishing any negativity, but you could walk out the door and God forbid get hit by a car. And if you ain't right with God, you're going to hell. That's why you don't know when your time is up. You must always be living for the will of Jesus Christ. You have to confess your sins, repent of them, go through the proper correction. I've spoken to you what that is. You prove yourself to God that you changed. And you go through the correction that he will bring to you as a result of committing that sin. When you go through that correction, then the sin will be washed away with the blood of the lamb. Do not listen to these false prophets here on YouTube that I expose and beyond. Ask Jesus Christ to give you discernment. I got an email from somebody this morning telling me that there's people putting videos out there. that God told you you got plenty of time. You don't know when your time is up. Jesus Christ said that events in life, everything he controls, they work on God's timing and not man's. God is telling you that you do not have much time. Your time is running short. So whatever time we have left on this earth, in this season, in this lifetime, should be spending, confessing sins, repenting of them, Going through the correction so those sins can be washed away with the blood of the Lamb. It should be spending, living for Jesus Christ, living a life of pure holiness, not sin. Okay? Not a demonic life like these false prophets I expose and those false prophets beyond. Not a demonic life at the center, period. When Jesus comes back, you cannot have one spot of sin on your white gowns you can't but a lot of these people on youtube out in the world that are living a secret sin have black garments you can't have one drop of sin jesus cannot be in the presence of sin he is coming back whether the church is ready or not because you had ample time to get ready He's saying you're running out of time. So whatever time you have left, use it to get your house in order and to get right with the Most High God. 
Although no man knows the day or the hour, the Lord told me that we are running out of time. And I'm going to make something real quick. I'm going to make it known right now. Those of you that are prophesying the raptures, April, September, October, July, August, the rapture's not going to happen. That month's going to come and go. You're going to be proved yet again a false prophet. And, and here's what the Lord told me, that you're going to take a break from YouTube and you're going to come up with some stupid, forgive my expression, ridiculous theory as to why your failed prophecy fell again. And you're going to come up with another theory and you're going to use another pagan calendar. Or you're going to use some other paganistic ideology to explain why your your um your prophecy fell and why the rapture is not supposed to. Why the rapture is going to happen yet on another day. Let me tell you something, you proud false prophet demons. And I'm going to be real. Jesus Christ is not a liar. So if you got a string of false prophecies, that means you hear it from the devil straight up. You're not hearing from God. Because God don't make mistakes. The devil does. And people that are liking your videos, knowing that you're a false prophet, are straight up stupid. And they retarded for liking your videos. Now I'm going to be real. I'm saying this with love because I'm full of righteous anger. How in the world are you going to like a person's video and they and they got a string of false prophecies and you know that they're a false prophet? That's because you crazy. Now you want to fall off the path and let these false prophets take you with them? That's your choice. But don't cause the other babes in Christ to fall off the path with you. And I say this, yes, with righteous anger, but with love. If you are liking these false prophets videos, you people are liking these false prophets videos, you got a problem. Especially if you know that they false prophets and the word of God says no man knows the day or the hour or the word of God says that that if one prop if a prophet prophesied falsely one time and it don't come to pass that person was not sent by God that they prophesied presumptuously. God is not a liar. Okay, so you need to get right with the Lord and you need to stop listening to these false prophets. But that's the choice you got to make the rapture not happening in, in September, October, whatever. And and people putting out filth saying that we got plenty of time you know they need to stop because we don't have plenty of time everything works on God's timing but we have very little time and God says straight up that he is coming whether the church is ready or not so whatever time you got left get your house in order saints